How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another mystery beer. Oh, uh, look at that. You see that little black mark there? That's me cheating. Actually, no. Um, that's so... I do not forget who sent these to me. Uh, a bunch of people typically send these off, and they usually come with a sweet blue painter's tape and a nice paper towel, and then um, I forget who sent them, because they all look the same. So this one comes courtesy of Jerome from Jersey. Thank you very much, brother. He sent me off a bunch of beers because him and his wife are doing the whole keto keto thing, and... Uh, we're going to do some mystery beers. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, what are they? They're beers that people send to me, and I guess I drink them, talk about them. If you want to know the whole spiel, go back to my older ones. I'll give you the whole what's what. But as far as what this one looks like, what I think this one might be is, uh, yeah, it kind of looks like an old school double IPA. Not just looks, but smells. I get this nice, sweet, kind of citrus, candy thing from a distance. A big, huge, gigantic, you know, almost three fingers ahead because I poured it like a jerk. And, uh, yeah, she looks the part of, like, an old-school kind of um, clearish kind of IPA. Could be Pilsner, could be Kolsch, could be a couple different things. But I get a big pop of sweetness and citrus. So I'm leaning in that double IPA realm. Let's see if we can get a little bit of nose through this foam. And yeah, I am definitely getting, like, a big citrus component on it. It keeps snorting lager. Um ish kind of vibes to it it's almost getting like an ipl thing it has like a soft lagery funk to it um but at the same time it has this nice rich sweetness also so it's almost like a lager with an extra hop addition to it so almost like an imperial pale kind of lager going on and that's pretty much pretty much it big citrus soft sitch words they're hard big citrus notes um, rich citrus notes with a nice kind of um, malty sweetness with a bit of soft lagering funk. Done and done. Let's dive in. Cheers. That is a lager. If that's not a lager, I don't know what is. It's got a big crackery pilsnery malt kind of thing going on. Soft lagery funk, but there is any kind of heft to it, a bit of bite to it. There's a bit of alcohol kind of burning off when you sip it. And there's a big citrus component. It gets away from that pithy kind of bittering component and goes a little bit more in the kind of like sweetened fruitiness. It's not necessarily like fresh squeezed fruitiness. It's not necessarily like a candiness. Somewhere, somewhere in between there. But it's nice. It's well done. It's clean for how big it is. I guess it's like seven and change. Not to be that. Um, yeah, I like it. I think it's tasty. I think it's somebody's uh, a lagered version of a double IPA. Or a single IPA that's pushing towards a double IPA. Done and done. That's all I have. Um, let's see what we got here. Jerome. What do we have going on? Da, 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 da. Industrial Arts Brewing. Okay, Landscapes. Uh, Pale Honey Bach. Okay, so this is 6.7%. So I definitely got those kind of lagered vibes off there. Um, so you're talking about a Bach, but it's a pale Bach. Pale Bach to me is pretty much just a more rich, sweeter lager. Um, oddly enough, I didn't get a huge, and that's a pretty cool fucking uh, label on there. So um, yeah, it, it, it honestly tastes more like a hopped up lager, which essentially was what a Bach is in a pale Bach. You're pretty much, excuse me. <coughs> Good thing I had this whole mystery beer thing going on. Um, it, it, it just, it just screamed of lager to me. Um, and, and, and it also had that big rich hop component to it. Now I miss the honey portion of the show. It did have an added sweetness to it, but I thought it was that kind of cleanliness that you typically get from a lager kind of combining with a big rich kind of malt base. I didn't get the kind of honey didn't reach out to me now drinking it. Sure. I guess I can get that. And there is a nice soft caramel malt. So we are getting a little bit more towards like traditional Bach territory. But I like it. I think it's tasty. I think it's well made. I think it's clean, crisp, chuggable. But at the same time, in a pretty dangerous package, actually, it drinks bigger than 6.7%. Like I said, it pushes more towards 8. I said 7 and change. Not too far off, but it drinks bigger than that. I like it. It's probably one of the better higher ABV kind of hop forward lagers that I've had in quite some time. Pretty fun stuff. And like I said... I always dig to me at geometric pattern cans if they're done right, and this one really does it for me. Um, so let's talk about it. Is it one of the better imperial lagers that I've had as of late? Yes. Bag and availability? No idea. Industrial arts, we get them by us, but I don't know what this goes for. Actually, that's not true. This is probably like 16 to 18 bucks, I'm guessing. It's kind of where their brewer beers land and leave you with if you like what well, we like this beer. If you like um, 
big, huge, hoppy beers that drink bigger than they actually are. So you'd like a little lower ABV, a little bit more impact, and you'd like a nice lager base to your beers, a nice cleanliness to your beers. You're definitely going to get it in here. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little pale lager right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers.